Hello, my name is Matthew Randall, and in this video, we're going to look at video quality metrics or how to implement some video quality metrics. So we're going to implement uh, PSNR, uh, SIM and VMAV uh, video quality metrics. And they're the three most commonly used video quality metrics for assessing the quality of a video. Uh, now, they all work by comparing uh, a, a, a compressed video, if you will, uh, or a lower quality video uh, with, a, with a, a higher quality video. So you should have like a gold standard video that shouldn't have any kind of compression artifacts on it. And then you can kind of compare your compressed video or maybe your down res video uh, against it. You could also use it to compare um, uh, uh, videos created from different renders so uh, and, and compare uh, the impact of different render settings as well. Okay, and there's all sorts of things, purposes that you might want to use uh, a video quality metric for. Okay, so um, uh, thankfully uh, a piece of software, a free piece of software called FFmpeg has made this process a lot easier for us because they now have uh, in, the, in the more recent versions of FFmpeg they've got a filter uh, that you can use which will do uh, those video metrics quality tests for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to download FFmpeg uh, and, uh, and a couple of other bits and I'm going to show you how to use FFmpeg to run the video quality metrics. So first of all, we want to download uh, FFmpeg. So I'm just going to click on download. We want to go to the Windows distribution. So if you roll over that, it's the, the guy on dev one. Okay. So if you go to this page, uh, what we're interested in is we want the full release. Okay. Uh, we don't want like the GitHub kind of subversions or anything like that. We want the full release. Okay. So if we scroll down to releases, so here's our releases here and the links to them. Um, we can see the different builds and we want the full release build here. So we're just going to download this one here. Okay. So I'll just pause it while it's downloading. Okay, that's fully downloaded. By the way, what I'll do is I will put URLs to, to uh, all these websites that I'm going to uh, uh, in the description as well. Okay, so uh, it's downloaded here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just going to unzip this. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to go, if we go into this folder, you can see we've got FFmpeg here, uh, and then we've got a bin folder with the actual commands in there. Now, we're going to use this. This isn't an install, so don't 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 expect there to be an install. We just run this executable from the command line, okay? So uh, what I want to do is actually just make this kind of easier to access from the command line. So I'm going to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is just go back up to this folder here. So this is the folder just above... Um, if I go back to downloads again, uh, there's like two sets. There's this folder and then this folder kind of repeated again. So in here, I'm going to call it FFmpeg. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff on the end of it. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to copy this folder. And I'm just going to put it somewhere easier to get to. So I'm just going to put it in my V drive. Uh, you know, whatever, wherever is easy to get to. I'm just going to paste that in. Okay, so I've got this FFmpeg folder there, and obviously the the bin doc presets all the bits that 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 were that came inside of there. Okay, now um, the actual executable is inside the bin folder. Okay, so if I click on there, you can see it see it there. We want to be able to get to that nice and easy. So a really easy solution is just to point a Windows environment variable to it. So if I just go uh, environment, okay, we can access our environment variables. So I'm going to click on environment variables, and um, and then what I want to do is uh, you can either do it as a user variable or a system variable. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it as a user variable. So it's this path here that you want to edit. Okay, so I click on there and just go edit. Okay, uh, I've actually already got it in there. V Drive FFmpeg bin. I've already got it in there. Uh, but yeah, it, I'll just demonstrate if I delete it. And I can just go into here. If I click on this uh, address bar here, I can just copy and paste that. Okay, because it's this bin folder that I want. I want the folder with these executables in it. Uh, go back to my environment variables and just go new, control V, and I've just added a new um, item to this path uh, variable here. I click OK, click OK, everything's all set up. Uh, if you've got command line already open, you'll need to close it and open it again uh, because the it, it won't register the environment variable uh, uh, if, you, if you've done that. Okay, so that's the environment variable set up. Now, the next thing we want to do is, um, I'm just going to close that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is that even um, uh, while PSNR and SIM use a kind of mathematical equation to compare um, the videos against each other to measure quality, um, 
uh, the VMAV approach actually uses a model. It's like a human perception model. It's, um, I, I kind of think it like it like an AI model, like a statistical model uh, that's been developed um, from lots of running lots and lots of human perception tests. Uh, so what you need to do is actually download uh, the model. Okay. So if you just go to if you type in Netflix VMAV, uh, you should find you get to a GitHub site. You'll find a GitHub site pop up. Again, I'll, I'll put this URL in there. But this is the get GitHub for uh, the VMAV. Uh, I should say, yeah. Uh, VMAV was developed by Netflix as a, 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 obviously as a, as a video uh, quality test tool that they use, and also that, that you know uh, people creating content for them can also use as well. Um, so yeah, and they've hosted it here. So uh, yeah, so if you go to the to Netflix VMAV, VMAV uh, GitHub site, you come to here, just download the whole thing. So just click on the code and just go download zip. Okay. Great, I'm going to go into the downloads folder again. Where are your downloads folder? Too much stuff on this machine. Uh, downloads, I'm just going to extract it. Okay, I'm just going to, so I'm just opening up the VMAV master. Um, uh, and in here you've got like a you've got like Python and C code and all sorts of things that you can do. What we're interested in is this model folder. Okay, this is where all the models are. So you click on here, and what we want to do is we want to use the uh, uh, the, the 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 PKL um, files and the PKL .model files. They are now deprecated, I believe. Uh, so it's really the JSON files you want. And so what you want to do is select a JSON file that fits the model that you want to do. So basically. The, the, the main models you've got are there's a 4K model, and then if you're doing HD or, or other things, you've got a default model here, the VMAV default model, this one here. This is the one that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I've pulled up, yeah, this is the bin folder that, uh, again, this is the bin folder here, and I just want to copy the model that I want into this bin folder, okay? So I'm just going to go right click, copy, so this is that default one, and just put it into the bin folder. Boom, okay? Great. So that's all set up. Now what I want to do is uh, uh, run the command. So we're going to go to command line. I'm going to go into uh, V drive. Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And uh, CD. Uh, oh, what I should say. Sorry. If I go into my V drive, what I've done is I've got FFmpeg there, but I've also set up a folder in here called, where can I find it? There we are. Got it now. Uh, there's a folder in here I've set up called test videos, and I've got a couple of videos here. So, um, uh, and these are um, uh, some renders of some, some student work. Okay, um, uh, and this is the original one, and this is the compressed one. Okay, uh, so what we want to do is compare the compressed video against the original one. I think the original one was encoded using PNG, and then this one's being compressed using dot uh, H two six four. Okay, um, great. So that's what we want to do. We want, and we want to go to this folder here. Remember, we've already set up a path pointing to FFmpeg, that bin folder. So we don't need to go to that folder, but we want to go to the to the folder where the videos we want to run our test on are are located. Great. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, I'll just pull this down so you can see. It. So it's called test videos. So I go CD test videos to go into that folder. Uh, in fact, sorry, um, CD test videos. Put an S on the end there, uh, and you can see I've gone into that folder. Great. Okay. And if I go DIR, there we are. We've got those compressed, original. We've got the folders in, the files that we want in there. Brilliant. Okay. Next thing we want to do is uh, put the command in. I've just got this command already written. Okay. So I'm just going to paste it in. Okay. So we're going to call ffmpeg. We're going to specify. We go I. Uh, first of all, we specify the. Um, uh, the video that we want to do the test on, so the, the lower quality video, okay? Um, and then we go I, and we specify the video that we want to test it against, okay? And then this is the filter. So this, this filter here, this this argument here pulls in the filter, and the actual filter we've got is the lib 
VMAV filter here. So this is specifying the filter. And all these, if I just widen this up here, all the, this, this, what we've got here is basically parameters, okay, um, uh, uh, that we want to specify for this filter. And the only parameter we're specifying at the moment is the model that we want to use, okay? So this is uh, pointing to uh, the FFmpeg folder inside the V drive. Uh, so it's going V drive, FFmpeg folder, bin, VMAV, okay? So hopefully that kind of fits with, with what you've got. If I just demonstrate that. So V drive, uh, FFmpeg, bin and obviously the actual model there okay so that's what that's doing there okay um, so obviously if you put your stuff in a slightly different uh, uh, space probably won't have a v drive um, uh, just change it accordingly okay uh, and then these final parameters here basically just telling ffmpeg we don't actually want to render any frames out we're just running this filter this filter actually uh, is actually a, a video well, not, not telling the video doesn't have this field doesn't have any output that we want okay so we just kind of got to say no we don't want anything and you do need to put this little hyphen here on the end as well okay right let's go enter oh, let's run that again enter there we go and so you can see now it's running the test. So I'm just going to pause. Okay, and you can see our score here. Okay, so this gives us a VMAV score. It doesn't give us a, P a PSNR score, and it doesn't give us a um, uh, a SIM score. Okay, so in order to do that, we've got to add some more parameters. Um, I'm going to put these commands in the video description as well because they're quite long. So you can just copy and paste and and, and configure them as you need to. So. Let me just put in a slightly longer command in, okay? So this time, again, it's FFmpeg. This is, we're running the compressed video against the original video, just like we did before. Um, uh, again, we're going to specify, so within the, the parameters for our filter, uh, we're going to specify the model path that we're using. So we're using, this is the model that we're using, okay? But you'll notice that we're adding some extra parameters here. So we're saying, yes, this, we're saying, yes, we want to do some PS, PSNR tests. Yes, we want to do some SIM tests. Uh, and also what we need to do is it doesn't actually just display the PSNR and SIM uh, like at the end of it, like this VMAV score. OK, um, so what we need to do is we need to specify uh, a log. So it creates a log, basically, uh, uh, with the scores in it. So or it stores the scores in a log. So we need to specify the format. So we've said CSV. So basically it means it's a common delimited file that can be opened in Excel. I've specified a path here. Um, so I've just called it VMAV CSV, but you could call it whatever you want. And, and what will happen is this will basically uh, output it into the uh, this this um, the log will just be put into this test videos folder here. OK, uh, and then finally, just the. Uh, this last bit here, just to say we don't want to output, just like we did in the last command, that we don't actually output any uh, video. Okay, so again, configure this to suit, suit your needs, uh, but this will do the PSNR and um, uh, 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 SIM tests for you. Okay, I'm going to run it. Again, I'm just going to pause while it does that. Okay, so that test is now complete. And if I go to uh, the video test folder, you'll see we've got a CSV file. I'm going to double click on that to open it up in Excel. Uh, other spreadsheet packages are available, uh, and this will just open up in any one of them. Uh, and indeed, if you could write a Python script to start interrogating this data as well, if you want to. Um, so uh, you can also output this as XML and uh, in XML format or JSON format as well, if you prefer. So really, uh, what we've got is we've actually got uh, data for every single frame in our video. So rather than just having an overall score, it's giving us a score for each frame. Uh, and you'll see that we've got a PSNR score, a SIM score, and a VMAV score for each frame. Uh, and this allows us to go through and see which frames score highest, which, which frames score lowest. Uh, and basically, the higher the number, the better the quality, the lower number, the worse of the quality with all of these metrics. OK, and I don't want to kind of go into detail about all these metrics. You can look up these metrics and what they mean uh, yourself. OK, um, uh, uh, but yeah, you can go in there. You can you can obviously just you could just use uh, uh, an average, you know, uh, use the average um, function inside of Excel just to average these up. 
and get an average for the whole uh, um, uh, for the whole video. Okay, great. So yeah, that's how we do uh, video metrics um, uh, and, and a way of and there's other ways of doing it, but that's a way of implementing uh, uh, a Viva, VMAV or video quality metrics with FFmpeg. Um, the other thing that I, I, I want to talk about, actually, before before I kind of finish the video, is just to highlight there's a few things you need to be aware of when you're using this sort of technique. You're comparing one video to another video. So you need to make sure that, that, vid that both videos have the same resolution, uh, have the same scan mode, so are both progressive or both interlaced, have the same frame rate, have the same duration, okay, and have a matching first frame, okay? Uh, now, um, I should highlight, again, I'll put links to all of these, okay, but um, uh, this, uh, 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 sorry, this gives you a lot more documentation in terms of how to use the libvmav filter uh, and, and things that you can do. There's another model that we haven't looked at, uh, 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 video quality metrics we haven't looked at here called MS Sim that you could look at. Uh, so have a look at that. But the issues, what I've talked about there in terms of um, uh, the videos needing to match, uh, that's discussed in this link here as well. Okay, and so they kind of talk about it. But they also, what they also demonstrate is how you can use. Um, uh, it talk about commands that you can run in FFmpeg itself because remember FFmpeg is like a, a a software that allows you to encode video and run filters and up, upscale vi videos and etc cetera, etc cetera. so you can use FFmpeg itself to solve some of these problems so for example you know change the frame rate or upscale a video if you need to if you have videos of a different resolution uh, the technique that I tend to see being used is to upscale the smaller resolution video um, just using again you can just use FFmpeg to do it. Um, I, I would avoid uh, trying to upscale it in a, a um, uh, in a, in a video encoding software because then you're transcoding the video again. So if you can do it in FFmpeg using a command like this uh, to upscale the video, I think this one's upscaling to 4K. Okay, so you can use a command like this to upscale the, scale the video. Again, obviously, just just you know, for example, in 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 these examples, he's using the the PKL uh, method, which is I think deprecated now. So just obviously, just adapt what he's doing, uh, you know, uh, to what I've shown you, if that kind of makes sense, uh, uh, in order to do that. Okay, um, so yeah, just highlighting that issue with you, uh, and hopefully, this will allow you to. Um, do your run your video quality metrics okay